one of the things that I hate when I'm compiling an Arduino program or checking a pickaxe program is using their built-in terminal programs. They frankly to me stink and they have they act weird sometimes so I'm going to introduce you to a little program I called found called putty. Simple terminal program as you see here. This is on COM8. How did I know where COM8 was? If you go into Device Manager in Windows 10, well, there's your prolific COM port. What I had connected to the system was one of these. It's a USB to RS-232. If you need one of these devices, it's called a U-Green. You, you can get it from uh, Amazon. They're inexpensive, and it works very well with Windows 10. Not all the nonsense you deal with in the past. This is simply a menuing system from my video on using the square wave output from a DS1307. I made a little terminal window program. It lets me select uh, what frequency I want out. That's a separate video. If you go further down, I also display the time on it. So this is a nifty little terminal program putty you can get it at and I have no connection to these folks www.putty.org I use the standalone exe but you can get a full install to do a number of things the next part of the video I'll show you how to set it up to be just a simple terminal program how that is set up all right putty is a simple terminal program I found to use with Windows. When you first click on it, this is what comes up. You have to go down here to Serial. In the case of what I'm using, my COM port happened to be 8. Instead of using the onboard Serial for Pickaxe or Arduino, I'd rather use this. Okay, well I want COM8. In this case, 4,800, eight data bits, one stop bit. I usually turn this off. Now you go back up here to session, click on serial, click open. Let's move it down here. Let me uh, press the switch on my uh, pickaxe project. There's my menu. And there your inner it comes right up and works. That's how you set up putty.